I'm getting ready to change a belt on my lawnmower and just because I have this lawnmower doesn't mean that I recommend it. It is actually my first zero turn. It's made by Swisher. Well, I don't bash any brands, but I'm probably not going to be buying Swisher next time around for a number of reasons, but without getting into that, it's basically a pretty good machine. Um, let's see if we can see what I'm getting into. This is the belt I got to change. What happened was it quit driving. The, the belts turn, excuse me, the blades turn, the mower deck runs, but it quit driving. This belt is not broken off, but as you can see, it's all frayed and messed up right here. And um, I was just looking without getting a book out and trying to see if I can figure out how this belt goes on and off. And I pretty sure I figured it out already um, anyway go this is the motor pulley right here the first pulley comes off the bottom of the motor this is the clutch and this is one uh, drive axle or pump or whatever it's called and there's another one on the other side just like it and each one of those has its own pulley up on top that that belt goes on and let's see if I can scoot over here we've got a tension pulley right here and I haven't even figured out yet how the tension works on it there's a slide bracket here um, haven't even looked in there far enough to find the spring to it the battery sits right here doesn't have a battery case it just sits right here and for temporary purpose I got a rag sitting here between the positive cable and the chassis I didn't even take the cables off I'll take at least this cable negative off when I'm ready to do this I'm just finding out what I got to do right now turns out that to get this belt even off because it didn't quite break in half to get it off got to unplug this clutch no biggie and I got to drop this belt right here this is the belt that goes all the way to the front and turns the mower deck so let me step around the front and like I said I'm not doing this belt right now I'm just getting a start on what I got to do That belt that I said has to come off at the clutch is uh, is this belt here, and there's a tensioner right there. When I can get two hands in here and have the camera on a tripod, I'll show what I'm going to do. But I, I can by hand, I can push this tensioner far enough out to get the belt off of it, and then we'll probably just to get it off this pulley up here um, get the belt loose and then we can take the belt off back here or maybe I can get the belt off of this pulley back here which is this one right here maybe I can get it off here once I get the tensioner off I don't know yet I'm gonna pause the video get back on this later because I gotta go someplace I am back on starting to do this lawnmower again um, took the covers off there's a pile of grass right there and one of the covers is sitting on that just because I was still blowing air around I swept it over there that's the grass that was on top I didn't clean out underneath the deck uh, I got a well, quite a bit of grass that needs to be cut here so it fills up pretty quick anyway I took the cover off here and on the other side too and I raised the deck up just enough so that this drive belt that has to come off 
would be level. I'll, I'll put this arm down, you'll see. If I push it down, now the belt is down lower in the front end, which kind of makes the belt a little bit shorter or makes it pull a little harder. Well, I want to get as much of that off as I can, so raise it up as high as I can and still have room to work. I'm going to try to find a place to mount the camera while I get this um, tension pulley off of there. You can see that's where it is. And yesterday I pushed it with I pushed it with my hand and got it to push all the way around to where I think it even stayed there if I remember. I got it past a pivot point and it stayed there. But I can't do it with the camera in my hand. But anyway, it's this spring here. I can either pull the spring off of it. No, I guess I can't because it's got a bolt going through it. I think I'm ready to pull the belt off. I got the tension pulley. I got the belt off of the tension pulley. No tools, just got that off by hand. And I can either wind, need two hands probably, this belt off. Let's see if you can zoom in a little bit. Off of this pulley, just by turning the pulley with the belt on there. See, I'm doing it there, it came off. There. And uh, I tried it on the back pulley too. And it felt like it was going to come off there too, so you could do it from either side. Now this side, you got this bar right here, this plate right here, and I just haven't taken it off. But anyway, get this pulley, get this belt off of that pulley, and then this one will come off. This is the one that's broken. And I'm sorry, I know I'm not doing a good video job here. Because if I was more concerned about a good video than I am getting this thing fixed quickly, I'd, I'd get this plate off of here so you can see. And I may still have to do it because Looks like there's a bar right here. Yeah, there's a bar right there that keeps this. Looks like it keeps part of that clutch from turning. Well, I'll have to unbolt that bar from underneath the bottom here, and then I can get the belt off of it. my clutch up there on top and it's just got a yeah it's got this area here that this catches on this bar to keep keep the clutch from spinning when the when you engage it I gotta put the camera down and take this take this uh, piece right here off I went on and took this back plate off this one here so I can get a better picture of what's going on in here and I took the bolts off that hold this bar looks like it's just a piece of angle iron yeah 3 16 angle iron by one inch okay there's got a foot on the bottom of it and that uh, frees me up to get my belt right off of there there it is take that up to the auto parts store and match it up I didn't show but of course I had to unplug this I think I said that in the part of the video I did yesterday I made it back with the new belt and now I'm in here trying to figure out how it goes on there and I'll show what I just found already this big slide bracket right here has another slide over on this side that I can't show you with the camera it's part of the same bracket and so I went around the front and I found a tension spring
right here that's attached to that bracket this is not going to be a very good video but there is not a good way to be in here doing any of this I am trying but this is the tensioner that moves this bracket or that bracket moves and this tensioner is what holds it uh, tight on the where are my fingers? There they are. Okay. I'm trying to see what I got on the viewfinder. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this. It's a long threaded uh, thing. I'll just go ahead and loosen that up and see if I can slip the belt on there. Okay. I loosened that bolt up or that uh, nut on that threaded rod for that tension pulley. So this thing slides in and out a lot more than it did. Here's the pulley, and I think I figured out how it goes. The belt goes on. I got the belt on this drive motor over here, and I got it on this one. It needs to wrap around this engine pulley, and then the back side of the belt needs to go behind this tension pulley. Right now, we're on this side of it. Well, it needs to go all the way around the back side of it. Well, I'm not going to get it on there from here so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take that bolt off on the other side then I can slide this back it looks like about another two inches from here to the end of this slide here hopefully that two inches will get me enough room to get my belt back behind that let's take a look in here At the at the okay, here's a view stepping back a little bit. It's here. I'm going to go ahead and take that nut off of there and the spring and everything and then because um, we only got a few threads left and then that'll give me the two inches I need uh, hopefully I can get it off getting that extra two inches looks good I got that off and I slid this thing back all the way out you can see it up here and looks like I got room to get my belt in there now but I can't do it with the camera in my hand I don't think maybe I can do something I got the camera mounted on a little stand here, but I don't know if I'm going to be in the way of it or not. I'm going to try. I don't know what's on the camera here, but I'll try to get the drive motor. I got these where I think they belong in here where I think they should work the way I got them and somebody's saying why don't you get the book and look at it well I'm not sure I know where it is for one and shouldn't be that complicated well when I push on this tension pulley now looks like it tightens the belt up that should be it I'm going to go ahead and put my spring and nut back on that tension pulley on the other side and tighten it up. We got that drive belt on there and I'm quite sure it's on there right. Now I just got to put the mower belt back on. I think this is how it goes. I'm going to hook it up in the front and then come back here and then put this one on that should be it see I'm learning this too this cut and this clutch thing right here has to line up with this we got a wear pattern 
on here. <clears throat> so there's dirt off the bottom of here. I like this machine except for one thing I don't like and I don't know if it's a common thing with this brand or not. One thing I really don't like is that the paint job did not last. It peeled off and the thing started rusting pretty quickly. And a lot of the paint has peeled off. It really needs to be sandblasted and redone. This is all self-explanatory what I'm doing here. Just putting the thing back on the same way I took it off. If I can find the bolt hole, shouldn't be too far away. Well, I'll turn the camera off while I watch for that. Got that piece on. I was trying to put it in the wrong two holes. I was trying to mount it in a couple of holes that were right over here where it was going up this way and they weren't quite matching up. But then I looked in there and saw the pattern from where it was be on there before. I don't know why. I thought this plug was inside the belt when I was taking it off for some reason, but I can't be inside the belt and the belt have the have room to move without hitting it. I think we're done. I'm going to go on ahead and just put this this plate back on here and then try it out. Well, I've got to put the battery back in. There's a battery. Uh, yeah, we went and disconnected the cable so that it would uh, not short out. Got it all put back together. Battery in and everything. Got these belt covers over here on. I'm going to climb up here and start it up. See if I got a place I can put this camera. I just wear it on my lap. I'm going to show what I got this camera sitting on. I think I showed this on another video. Just a block of metal. Uh, three inch channel iron. I got a couple different mounts on it. One for a um, a small monitor and another for a camera but they're both the same mount so I can put the camera on either one or the monitor on either one. One's taller than the other.